Now we will see the major components of a GraphQL. There are two major components. First one is type definition and second one is our resolvers. Type definition is schema that uh, as we are using the schema first approach. So we need to define our schema first, then we need to write the resolvers. We need to pass all our type definitions and all our resolvers to Apollo server. We can also create a single file uh, with all our type definitions and uh, a single file with all our resolvers. But I am uh, creating a separate file because it is easier to handle. I have created a folder called schema and uh, created a different uh, uh, created different files for uh, schemas of uh, uh, recipe users and uh, other things as well. In my type definitions folder, I have created schema for user and SP. For user, I need to specify all the fields like and the user type is user can contain ID that will be string, email, password, first name, last name, uh, following that is uh, the array of strings and created at and updated at. For recipe, uh, the type of recipe is ID, name, description, uh, created at thumbs up and thumbs down. You can write all these types in single file as well. In my users, uh, user schema uh, file, I need to specify what the, uh, input the sign up, uh, uh, the sign up route can accept. Uh, for example, uh, it needs uh, email, password, uh, first name and last name. The exclamation marks mean that all these are required. Uh, this is syntax uh, that we use in GraphQL. For uh, login input, we need uh, the email and password and both of these are required. Uh, after defining all our types and uh, in inputs, we need to uh, we need to write two special types here. First one is type query and second one is type mutation. Any GraphQL request can be of type query and of type mutation. The query uh, is similar to the get request in REST APIs. If we need to fetch some data from uh, our server, then we need to specify it as query in GraphQL. But if we want to update or modify or write over data to the server, we need to specify it as mutation. Uh, like this is application that I have created. Uh, I need to specify it as query because we are uh, reading uh, our users from server. I need to specify it as query. But if I need to create a new user, I need to specify it as mutation. So these are two main concepts in GraphQL schema. If, uh, after writing the type uh, query, I need to write the schema of all our queries. For example, this can be my query like uh, get uh, user by name i need what it can take as an argument for example it can take a name from user and what it can return is user this type of user i have already defined in my type definition like this is a type so it is returning a user object with id email password first name and so on so i need to specify all my queries in the query type uh, there are two queries uh, users query first of all is get users that is taking uh, our total uh, a variable with name top total that is integer and return an array of users the second one is get user by id that is taking the id of user from the client and returning a user here i am have written exclamation mark which means it will uh, surely return a user else it will return some it will throw some error uh, for mutation i need to uh, write all the mutations in type mutation there are two mu uh, main mutations uh, in my case first one is login and the second one is sign up and uh, the login is accepting uh, input of type uh, login input from user that uh, i have i also need to write the login input type uh, before the type mutation <coughs> like this is my input type i have uh, specified is as it as input type and it will return the login result here i i have used union uh, of graphql uh, it can return a user with token or invalid credential error 
for uh, sign up uh, i am accepting uh, sign up input from user and returning user with token to the user similarly uh, i have uh, i need to specify the schema for resolver first of all i specified the recipe input uh, and all the queries uh, that uh, the related to uh, recipe and mutations related to recipe and there are two uh, two main queries related to recipe first one is uh, get recipe by id and a second one is uh, get recipes this is the name that i need to pass here like this is sign up and i need i have written it uh, the name of uh, my mutation as sign up and th these are all my mutations related to recipe uh, first one is create recipe delete recipe edit recipe increment uh, thumbs up and increment thumbs down uh, and uh, i need to specify the return type also so after writing the schemas for uh, uh, user and recipe i have imported all the files in my index.schema file and export all these as an array and in my index.js file i am importing uh, the array in uh, uh, all type definitions and passing it to uh, the type def uh, type definition parameter i can also write the file names here as well so after uh, defining the type definitions i need to write the resolvers uh, uh, for each the type definition 